Yo, back at y'all with another. Let's see, we got a high ranking video today. I'm gonna add the ESPN and Bleach Report all in one video. So we gonna do ESPN first. Uh, let me see. I think they do number one first. So I think I gotta scroll down. Uh, yeah, they do number one first. Okay, I spoiled it already. It's all good though, cause I kinda assumed they was gonna be there. It says when looking at the NFL power rankings, it's never too early to evaluate the quarterback position. All right, Let's see some of these stories. We'll be happy. The early returns on Matthew Stafford. Mm. The complicated is Daniel Jones actually pretty good, even though the Giants are not. They're not even, I, don't, I ain't going to say too much. I feel like they use DJ, they use his legs, but they don't really like the offensive scheme isn't that good overall. Like, I think it could be a, I just think it could be better. I said, I think it could be a lot better considering the personnel that they have. This is my opinion. Welcome to the NFL. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, and Justin Fields. Uh, you can low-key throw Mac Jones on there, too. And Trey, well, Trey Lance really sitting on the bench, but... Yeah, all three of them not doing that well, but... I mean, Mac okay, but... Uh, I think I think they'll be doing better with Cam. This is my personal opinion. Right now. Uh, our Ben Roethlisberger days with the Pittsburgh Steelers looking numbered. I don't think so, but we'll see as the season progresses. So let's jump to the bottom. Alrighty. At 32, let's see who they have. Oh, I went too far down. Oh my gosh. God damn, went super far. 32, we got the Jets. Understandable, in my opinion. Zach Wilson is struggling, throwing too many interceptions, taking too many sacks. They're not all his fault. And yeah, the O line is an issue as well, and it, I think offensive play calling too. They have they like their personnel is not bad. Uh, Jaguars on three, they got them ranked ahead of the Jets. Mm, reasonable. What they say about them? Trevor Lawrence just flashed some signs he could be. He, could be, he's doing well. he has seven interceptions as well. Oh wow. Mm. He go out there and he play pretty nice though. Like time to time, like it, it said, he doesn't lose confidence. I, I I feel that when I watch him play, you know. Got the Lions at thirty. Jerry Goff project has not worked yet. Giants at twenty nine. Uh, reasonable, reasonable. Uh, maybe the Giants have the answer with Daniel Jones. Hmm. Hmm. Texas twenty eight. Bears 27. So far, I don't really have too many complaints. The Colts 0 and 3, but the Texans rank lower than them. Mm. Kind of concerned about that, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe because Terod Taylor isn't there. So, I mean, with Davis Mills, I would rank the Colts higher as of right now, for sure. Uh, Falcons 25. Eagles 24. See, Dolphins 23. Jacoby Brissett. I don't think I have too many issues with this yet. I'm, trying to, I'm just thinking. Football team 22. Nice roster, just not equating to, to you know, what it needs to. See, Steelers, Vikings. Vikings? Hmm. Mm. Vikings low key not bad, bro. Low key, very competitive team for despite the record. I saw the Patriots there, Bengals at eighteen, Seahawks at seventeen. Seahawks started off good. Okay, Titans. I see you. Okay, okay, okay. Saints at fifteen. I don't know. I feel like right now I put the Titans over the Saints. This is my personal opinion. Cowboys fourteen. Cowboys kind of looking nice. I'll give them that. Broncos 13, Panthers 12, 49ers 11. Mm. Maybe the level of competition. Maybe that's why they placed higher because Broncos and Panthers haven't placed like super 
uh, you know, you top tier teams yet. So maybe that's why they rank their Chiefs. They still got the Chiefs ahead of both. Wow. Um, I'm assuming this is because of competition and who they played as well. So I guess I'll give them that. Chargers, nine. They did just beat the Chiefs. So that's reasonable. I'll give them that. That's reasonable. Uh, the Cardinals at eight, three and oh. Ravens, two and one. I think I would put the Cardinals above the Ravens right now. Browns, two and one. I'll put the Cardinals up there. Uh, again, level of competition. They did just play the Jaguars, so it's understandable, but I might give it to them. Of uh, Raiders three and zero, Packers two and one. Raiders look like the best team in the AFC right now. Oh, Bills. Who did the Bills lose? The Steelers in Week One. We'll see. We'll see. I, I will put the Raiders above the Bills right now, just based off of what they've done this year. The Bucks at two, and then the Rams undefeated at one. Uh, this list not too bad. It's, it's not too bad actually, in my opinion. I can uh understand a, a lot of the probably like fifteen and up, maybe even twenty and up. I can understand most of it, but uh, it's a few things I changed. But ESPN, y'all didn't do too bad this week. Let's look for Bleacher Reports. All right, let's see. So Jack, they got the Jaguars dead last. Jets. You can argue either one of those, so I'm not even gonna really do so much on that. Giants at the bottom as well. Lions. Giants. I like the Giants. Of all of these teams that have no wins, I like the Giants personnel probably the most out of all of them. But you know, is what it is. Texans. Uh, Falcons. Uh, Colts on three. Let's see what they say. Indianapolis head coach Frank Wright knows a little something about comebacks. Mm, given now the 0-3 course have looked so far this season, there isn't going to be any magical comeback in 2021 despite a plus three turnover margin. In week three against the rival Titans, the course are still searching for win number one. Mm. The defense couldn't get Tennessee off the field. Allowing six third down conversions in 12 attempts over 34 minutes of possession. Mm. Mm. They ain't really telling me nothing. Uh, We got the Bears above the. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess. Like the Bears defense is carrying right now. I'm being honest, they're carrying. Even though they only got one win. On this list, they have to be carrying. Washington defense is also carrying. Offense hasn't been playing too bad, though, if I'm being honest. Like, not trash. Like, this, all right, this last game against the Bills, they did bad. But prior to that, like, this season hasn't been too bad. Eagles, 23. Want to take the Eagles over Washington right now? I don't know. Um, I might give it to him. I might give it to him. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. No, 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 no. I'm gonna take, I'll take Washington over Eagles right now. Just right now. Um, Steelers. I'll take either one of these. Nah, I'll take the Steelers. Steelers, I mean, personnel is another team with really good personnel. Just not, they're not there. You know, it's like equating it to wins. Vikings, Steelers looking like the Vikings right now. That's, 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 and they back to back. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. I take the Vikings over the Steelers after last week. Yeah, yeah. After last week, yeah. yeah. The Vikings haven't been playing bad. It's just mm -mm. they're a competitive team. I'm, I'll just leave it there. The Patriots over the Vikings right now. I can roll with that. I roll with that. The Dolphins over the Patriots right now. I think the Dolphins beat them right. So I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. Uh, Bengals, 18. Titans. Ooh. Would I take the Titans over the Bengals? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would. Uh, yeah. Seattle. Ooh. Didn't the Titans just beat Seattle? So, that's kind of... Nah, 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 nah. We got to fix that one. We got to fix that one. Please report. Uh, Saints two and one. 
<sighs> hmm. How do I feel about that? At, at 15, I'm going to rock and roll with it. Niners, I like this. Uh, I'll, t- I'll take the Niners over the Saints, so that's reasonable. Raiders, I think the Raiders got to be a little higher, man. Panthers, 3-0. and Panthers could be a little bit. Uh, no, Panthers haven't played anybody super like elite yet, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to say super elite, but just you know, one of the top tier teams yet. But when the time comes, I'm looking forward to it. Cowboys at eleven. Cowboys could be. Uh, that might be decent. We'll see. Packers ten. Broncos nine. Ravens eight. Who did the Ravens lose to? I'm forgetting. The Raiders. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I would put the Raiders up higher, bro. Honestly. Chiefs at seven. Bills at six. Let me see. Behind the Chiefs are the Ravens. Ravens beat the Chiefs. Come on now. Got to give it to them. Chargers at five. Got the Browns at four. Let's see. I take them over the Chargers. Uh, yeah, yeah. As of right now, I would. I can't argue with that. Cardinals at three. Tampa Bay at two, and then the Rams at one. A uh, solid list this week. Solid, but ESPN did better than Bleacher Report this week. I give it to ESPN. They did better. Uh, the Raiders. I feel like the Raiders are probably ranked a little too low for me. I think they could be pushed up some. Uh, they handling the business right now, bro. Uh, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. Just accept it, part of God's plan.